Hey there everyone, I'm Nathan with Minnesota Mobile Guy. If you're not already familiar with me, I own and operate my own business helping clients from all over the world with all sorts of different issues and services for their smartphones. Now one of the most popular requested features that clients ask of me is SIM unlocking a phone to be able to be used with a carrier other than the one that originally sold it. Now here with me today I have a Sprint LG G Flex 2. We can take a peek at the sticker here on the back of the phone that has all of the phone information and we'll be able to see that there indeed is the model number LS996 which is the Sprint version of the Flex 2. This one though has been unlocked to be able to run on GSM carriers. Now some of you who have been following me for a while may have already seen that I previously had a video about this one, but there's a specific reason that I'm now making this new video. Over the course of time, as I've offered these unlocking services, specifically when it comes to LG phones, I've heard a lot of feedback from people who have messaged me that say that they tried to get their phone unlocked by someone else, some other company who offers the service, and the results were just disastrous. Either the phone was completely bricked, or the company just couldn't do it, or maybe they even got it unlocked, but they couldn't enable the internet for them, for example, are just one of the many things that I've heard. So I just wanted to make a video to show off the specific details of how the phone performs when I do the unlock, when it's done correctly and some of the unique features that I am able to add in so that the phone works correctly. One of the biggest things here is right on the lock screen where the carrier name is supposed to be, it actually does say Cricket. I have my Cricket SIM card loaded in here right now. They run on AT&T's network here in the US. A lot of people have told me that when they had the phone unlocked by someone else, that label on the front still said Sprint for some reason, even if the phone was actually working. So that was a little confusing for them. So when I do it, the correct name is shown and enabled. One of the other big things that I'm able to do is on this phone, if it's supported in your area, and I can't promise it will be for everyone, but there is a good chance that the phone will be able to pick up your carrier's LTE network. If we take a peek at the phone here under the network information, we can see that we are indeed running on Cricket. And then down there below for the mobile network type, we are showing LTE. So we're not showing 2G or 3G or UMTS or HSPA or anything else that normally shows there. We are seeing full actual LTE. And then for the signal bars at the top, we actually do show the real 4G icon up there also. So those are the types of improvements and enhancements that you can expect from the phone when I perform the service for you. And so if you have a Sprint LG G Flex 2 and would like to get it unlocked to be used on a GSM carrier, go ahead and get in contact with me. All the details for doing so will be right in the video description, and I'll also add a slide at the end of the video that has all the contact info as well. Make sure to check out all the other videos on my channel as I offer a lot of different services for a lot of different phones, and I'm sure you'll find something else there that interests you. Make sure to hit the subscribe button while you're there also to be notified of all the new videos that I'm constantly putting up, just like this one. Y para todos los hispanos hablantes, yo también hablo español, así que ustedes nuden conectarse conmigo. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.